Hello, 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 and welcome to Here, There, and Everywhere, my new playthrough for the new update. We're going to see what kind of changes they've made. I noticed that there's a skip button down here, which I read about in the patch notes. I have a video on that if you'd like to see it. You have to hold it to skip. I don't want to skip anything. Can't see what changes there are if I skip stuff. Wearing my customary pink bun. <laughs> All right. Let's go get. Oh, those are new. That's awesome that they did that. For people who don't know that you have to use WASD. This is not a fresh human meat store, Mr. Zombie. I'm busy, so shuffle off to another store. A person? Are you currently in the underground capsule room on Andorna Island? Sleep capsules can sometimes cause trouble. I'm Dr. Veronica Grimes. I'm researching a zombie cure. Is there even power in the bunker now? Ooh, more stuff. Find a light immediately and secure the line of sight. Okay, so you'll notice another change if you've seen this game before that we have painkillers in our bag. And that's because HP and satiety are two different things now. All right, let's turn our light on and open the door. Whoops, open the door. I changed some of my keys, but not all of them. It's a little strange, but we're working on it. I need your help with the zombie cure research. You've just emerged from the stasis capsule, so you're probably wandering around without any clothes. Yep, I am. Find something to wear and get dressed. Got it. Well, luckily you provided this for me. All right, we still have old clothes. I have lightning coil on each one of them. Right click to put them on. I have a proposal for you. Emergency bag. Please find the remaining mutant substance on Andorna Island. That material will be invaluable in my research for a zombie cure. Succeed and I'll send a helicopter for your rescue. Make sure to record important things in your journal. T is take all. I don't like that. Oops. I might have to change that too, but for now. Control the crouch. Same, same. All right. Nothing here. Same, same, same. Yep. Oh, there's something here. Interesting. The zombie mutation first... Oh, wait. Note from New Humanity Project researcher. The zombie mutation first occurred on Andorna. People who escaped from the island at that time caused the world to be engulfed in zombie mutations. I'm starting to think that the mutant substance I was researching might have triggered the zombie mutation. But would Dr. Cleon Raven made such a mistake? Well, I wonder. Someone sure the hell did. All right, let's check these. So for those of you curious about my settings, we are at 100% zombies um, for across the world and for Horde Knights. So that's why I'm calling it here, there, and everywhere. Because <laughs> it's 100% zombies everywhere. Okay, that is our journal. Open this up. The bunker you're in is the research facility where the new humanity project was conducted. Check if there's still someone in the bunker who can help you find the mutant substance. Check if there's someone in the bunker. Guess we'll see. Oh yeah, two more. Yay. 
I have heard that getting food is a little bit of a pain <laughs> or keeping your satiety up is a little bit of a pain. So we are on double resources. Oh, this is new. Love it. Gross. Hey. Are you really human? Yeah, really am. Finding me in a place like this, you're lucky. I'm Walter Wagner. If you're looking for the mutant substance, I can help you. Cool. In exchange, you need to secure a spot for me on the escape helicopter from Endorna Island? It's a good deal, right? I've stored the mutant substance at the research center on the surface. You go to the surface first, through the bunker door. I'll follow once it's safe. All right, dude. Well, I mean, just so you know, you didn't have to, like, force my hand telling me that you'll only help me if I help you. Because I don't want to leave anybody on this island with all these zombies. I'd be taking you with us anyway. I mean, like, come on, dude. Seriously. I don't know what kind of people you think we are, but, well, then again, you are in this situation. You know, I never noticed. Ooh. Oops. We should head to the research center that Walter mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me your skills and determination. I hope you won't disappoint. I didn't notice before this was like computers in there. I don't know why I didn't notice that, but I didn't. All right, let's do this. Where are we going to be? You'll need to survive before you even think about finding the mutant substance. Understood? Oh, I've been here before. I've assembled the best team of experts for assistance. Learn by carefully following their instructions. Nice to meet you. My name is Sierra Wilder, a survival expert. From now on, I'll share all the survival knowledge I know with you. You might feel a bit stiff since you've just woken up. Let's start by loosening up your body. Alright, did I loosen it up? Change viewpoint. There are numerous resources required for survival. How about picking up noticeable small stones in the forest? Good plan. Great. Now it's time to use that small stone to make a stone knife. Please open your inventory. You should be able to find the stone knife under the handmade tab on the right. Got it. Then craft it. This still sounds the same to me. Now, shall we gather some branches and leaves? Equip the stone knife you made, and when you cut the bushes, you should be able to get the materials you need. The preparations to save humanity are progressing well, as the next step will be crafting other tools necessary for survival. Shall we start by making an axe? Sure. And let's make a tree. Cop, chop, cheetah. Now let's gather some wood together. Trees are truly vital resources. They provide various materials essential for survival. Naturally, you'd use the axe you just made to chop them down, right? So we've got some changes under skills. It used to be that, where is it? So this is noise and movement speed, fishing time and damage to zombies. Memory used to be not fishing time. <laughs> Memory used to be like damage to boulders and stuff and trees, and they don't have that anymore. I mean, we have sati- where's my- I have a notebook. I wrote down some of the changes. Let me see. Um, you hold right on. Okay, so there were three different ones in the patch notes, but the two that I wrote down were that endurance has changed to be for satiety reduction and that vitality had to do with um, max HP. But this is also, this no longer does damage to trees and boulders. And I'm only thinking of it because, you know, we're damaging trees and boulders right now. 
and there I have other things that I want to check out in my little notebook here but um, you know first I want to play I do love how much crisper the screen now is. Now it's time to gather stones and minerals. With a pickaxe, the gathering will be much smoother. I agree. Using the method you've just learned, try crafting a pickaxe. Let's do this. Now, we have bandages and herbal medicines. We need leaves and herbs for that, and we need cloth for those. These, I know, actually increase your HP. I believe and food increases your satiety now everything I say can be fixed later <laughs> it's like if I if I say something wrong now I will fix it later but remember I need to learn this game again too Great. now let's use our crafted pickaxe to gather stones and minerals if you look around carefully you'll see plenty of rocks by breaking those rocks you can easily obtain stones okay Shall we also look for ore? Ore is slightly shiny compared to regular rocks. Look for rocks with a black shine to find it. These are ore rocks. With just a bit of careful observation. You can gather the necessary materials. Oh my goodness, this takes a while. Okay, well, we got some iron ore, and this is a regular rock, a boulder. Now, I'm going to be getting double the resources. So just so you know, it, don't compare this to like your game. So you'll see there's up here, right above my pickaxe, is a gray rock and another whitish rock. Those are both regular rocks. But then this darker rock right here with the orangey stain on it is an ore rock. And there's one right behind that bush right there that are also ore rocks. Iron ore rocks. Oops, not close enough. There we go. So I'm just going to gather some materials and I will bring you guys back in a little bit. If anything happens with text or voice, I will bring you back for that. I leveled up. Oh, it even says my name, Maida. Nice. I love that. Hey, ever wake up on a zombie island and feel like you're left alone? I'm Jamal Price, the mechanic. There are plenty of ways to get stronger. Crafting some high-end gear, upgrading what you've got, or advancing through tech research. So, let's kick things off with that. Just set it up wherever. No need to overthink this one. Alright, build an equipment workbench. B for build. And I should have everything unlocked, but I guess they're only going to let me see certain things at a time. I just didn't want it like, I'm going to do the killing the bosses and stuff, but... I have done my playthroughs where I can't get a wrench in the beginning. Like, I'm done. <laughs> you want to see that? Watch my last, like, my beginner's guide. I didn't have a wrench in the beginning. And um, my boots on the ground, I didn't have a wrench in the beginning. So you go watch those if you want to watch me with that frustration. I'm just going to play this way now. Let's see. Uh, equipment workbench. Let's build one. The crafting bench is pretty handy, you know. Great for making and breaking down gear. All right, for starters, how about we whip up a pipe on that bench? I got your back. It's a stupid weapon and it sucks. I'm more of an up close and personal kind of guy, but you, looks like you could use some long range firepower. Try crafting a bow at the bench. can't just have a bow and no arrows, right? Absolutely. You'll need some arrows. Making arrows isn't that tough. Open up your inventory and craft some arrows under the handmade tab. Did. All right. Let me show you how to use that gear you just crafted. Equip that bow of yours and shoot an arrow towards our lovely crafting bench. 
If the arrow sticks into the bench, you can pull it out and use it again. So, where to next? Oh, wait a sec. Don't just leave that crafting bench behind. That's a waste of good resources. To dismantle it, you'll need a hammer. Pop open your inventory and let's craft one. All right, you got it, boss. Claw hammer. Once you've got that hammer equipped, there's a bunch you can do with it. Hold that hammer and give our worn out crafting bench some TLC. But remember, fixing things up takes materials. Okay. T to repair. Equip that hammer and head over to the crafting bench to start the dismantling. You'll recover some of the materials you used on it, so it's all good. Already demolish. Listen up, soldier. I am Captain Axton Hawkins. Obey my commands and learn the skills to survive on the battlefield. As you advance along the front lines, you'll inevitably face the zombies. When the time arrives, utilize the skills you've acquired to strike and evade at the appropriate times. Safely defeat the zombies. Got it? Yes, got it. Alright, so, I have changed my kick key. So, one of the cool things in this game now is that you can kick. I love that. And, oh, well, I guess I'll put the pipe on in case I find somebody before I make my machete. Okay. Um, and so, normally you'll be E for you, but for me, boom. <laughs> it's F. All right. Let's go. Uh, I need to dodge. I don't even know where my alt key is. What do I use for dodge? Oh, yeah. I use this. I'll change it later. I don't dodge very often. <laughs> I can dodge. So let's just, I just, just don't very often. Okay. We need to get to where there are some things to kill, and this is not where I want to stay. So, I'm going to run across the map. This is where we came out, where we spawned, so to speak. I need to kill a zombie, but let me clear out some of this stuff first. Don't want to leave resources behind. In fact, I think the first series that you can watch on this channel actually was here because it's right over there in those wooden structures. Oops, my game's freezing. Those wooden structures where I was still alive <laughs> because an alligator saved me, which is pretty cool. He was eating the zombies. So, as you're running down roads like this, grab everything. You can do these boxes. Oops, you can break them. Now, on cars, you can find things, or trucks, but you can't dismantle them until you get a wrench. That's okay. We can find things. T to take all. See, I like F to take all, but that's all right. Zombies are right up here. All right, so let's go run and get boom. No, nope, I was trying to kick her. Back up, back up, back up. Why aren't you kicking? I don't understand. There we go. Probably should use the pipe. Ooh, goodness me. I have a whole bunch of them on me now. Holy Christmas. Okay, we're going to go back over here. We didn't put food on our bar, which was not the smartest move. 
All right, quickly, where are they? And run again. And pull these down. Okay, so six does what? Six gives me satiety, all right? So seven gives me HP and not very much of it. Oh, and it's slow. Oh, I don't like that. Kick. 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 <laughs> that was a combo kick. Nice. However, be careful when using a blunt weapon like a pipe, as the stabbing damage is weak. Gosh, these don't give you hardly any health back. It's so slow. Yeah, I don't like this. Instead of just giving you instant health, it just incrementally creeps up. That is a problem. That is, boom, a problem. <laughs> oh, she flipped right over. Love that. Okay. All right. Oop. Whose attention do I have? Ooh, a jumper. Hello. You know what? I can do this. Can you do that? Boom! Kick you in the head, son! Got you! Alright, I want to gather some materials. against the tree um come down please stop hitting me rude don't want to be rude don't be rude all right oh did i get materials for that i don't think i did <laughs> i meant to eat that <laughs> whoops so if you kick a barrel you don't get the actual stuff for it that's good to know so be careful that you don't do that all right i'm gonna leave them here to do their business because i'm heading out there are places i want to be You're probably not going to see this many zombies, just so you know. Remember, I have 100% world spawn, which means as many zombies as are possible to be spawned into the world are spawned in. And they are going to be um, respawning as fast as possible. So I think every 30 minutes, like after 30 minutes, any zombie I've killed will respawn. So that's why it's called Here, There, and Everywhere. And that's part of the challenge. All right, I will bring you guys back once I'm where I want to be. The city has truly changed. After people disappeared, animals roam the streets freely. Creatures big and small like rabbits and bears seem to have become the new rulers of the city. It's time to remind those animals who's at the top of the ecological pyramid. Not only are animals an excellent source of protein, but they also provide various valuable materials. Hmm. It's hard to tell exactly where I am right now. But I want to go this way, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it would be easier if the uh, research center was on the map. And it's not on the map yet. So I'm just, uh, I need to do the stab thing. 
All right, so right click, you hold your pipe out, and then you stab with it. Okay. Ah, greetings. The name's Gilbert Foster. I've been assigned to guide you in building your survival base. A survival base isn't just a refuge. It can be the heart of various crafting activities. And it all starts with a solid foundation. How about you start by finding the right spot and open the construction menu to lay down that foundation? I'm working on it. If I knew where I was on this dang map, I should have gone to the city and then I could have found it really easily. <laughs> it's all right, you guys. We'll bring you there back when I'm here. I can hear the chirping of birds. While birds are small and cute, they provide essential proteins for survival. Ooh, we have big guys over there. I see two explosive crawlers and a vandal. Oof, we're going to avoid them. But it's good because we're almost where I want to be anyway. I know where I am now. Research center's over that way, but we're not heading there. Oh, I keep running out of stamina. We'll fix that soon enough. All right, this is the area I want to build in. I will show you the map as soon as I can. I need some more stamina because we are being chased by alligators <laughs> there's two damn it so um my very first time playing this game i played down here and i want to build down here again because i think it's a cool place to be and i haven't because of the stupid alligators but you know what i'm not afraid of no stinking alligators so i'm gonna play down here and build down here i just need to build the foundation and be able to get away from them. I hear the sound of flowing water through the radio. While it might be tempting to play in the water to relieve stress, we need to engage in more productive activities to survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The most productive activity one can do by the water is fishing. But you wanted me to do learn basic survival building this is what you want me to do not the rabbit skin let's focus on what we need to focus on here all right so we need to build a foundation and then let's expanding the foundation further first as before select the foundation in the construction window and build then when you can see the blueprint of the foundation turn on the snap function during construction see how many arrows it takes oops this shit this allows your new construction to align and attach seamlessly with again they're quick structures. five now with the snap function six, activated try extending your foundation seven, by one more squares eight nine ten eleven 12. 12. Okay. Well, the other one is, uh... Whoop, he heard me. Oh, it's T for take all. I'm used to F for take all. Oops. All right, so they want us now to... I don't want to fish. Why do they keep... This is only going to be annoying in the beginning, guys. Trust me. They're annoying right now, but... I don't know how long they'll... I think it'll give me 30 minutes if I get rid of them. I don't know what the animal respawn time is. There's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Halfway there. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, no, you're still going. Thirteen for you. Well, that's weird how you kind of go flying backwards like that. T for take all. Skin you. Okay, maybe this will give me a little bit of time to build here. Right. Oh. Holy crap, did you see how fast that thing ran? Jesus. 
So I better stay up here. Alright. Our repairing is fine. They're not doing too much damage. We need to go into our journal. Go back to our build quest. We need to do this one now. Alright, so snap is alt. Oops. That was also dodge, which needs to not be uh, the same. That's crazy. B to build a foundation. Oops. T to build. Oh, I need to change these keys. you're following along splendidly. When constructing buildings, remember you have the option to adjust the height. Try experimenting with the foundation height as you build. Um, I might want to build up off the ground so that I'm not listening to them chomp, chomp, chomp all the time. Let's see. Hmm. But we'll see. Alright. I just had to go and reload the game. I needed to go check my settings because I didn't have everything unlocked. I was getting a little frustrated that I couldn't build the things I wanted to build. So I need rope. Oh, that's annoying. Yep, I need rope, which means I need to build my things. Okay. So let's build the uh, stuff they want me to build. And material workbench. All right, we need to build this one first. And it should be on snap. There we go. And then we need to build this one. Perfect. We need to make planks. We don't have enough trees. Well. It seems like there's only three alligators here right now, so uh, that's good until I can build a base. Might be, maybe I'll try to build out over the water a little bit. We used to do that. I don't know if we even know if it's still possible. It probably is. It's a little cheesy, but I kind of like it, so you know. Um, yeah, I'm going to gather resources. That's why I wanted to be here. It's so cool. Um, this is where I am on the map. The research center is up here somewhere. You just kind of come up. Oh, it's right up here actually this is that road um and this is where the research center is so we'll uh i'm gonna gather some materials and stuff and show you what i got this area makes me feel so nostalgic because i spent a lot of time running along this river's edge getting water stones or water rocks and because that was the best way to get copper or one of the best ways to get copper anywho i just like being here it's nice I like being next to the water. You can hear the water. It's peaceful. And depending on how soon the um, alligators respawn, will determine how fast I get up into the trees. Because <laughs> I don't want to... We're out over the water. I haven't decided yet. All right. So, eat a craft. Wooden planks. Oh, did I finish those? I No, I need one more plank, and then I need to craft a lumber. So, that... And a lumber. Perfect. The crafting bench allows you to process a wide array of resources. However, to unlock these features, upgrade you'll this. need to upgrade the crafting bench first. Now grab your hammer, upgrade the crafting bench, and take Make a stab at stone processing. Done. Processing ores is a vital step. Especially the variety of materials derived from ores are essential for fortifying your survival base and crafting various tools and weapons. This will ensure you're better safeguarded from the threat of zombies. You already know the drill from earlier, haven't you? Uh, iron ingot 2, copper wire 1. Oops, wrong thing. This one. Iron ingot 2. Uh, let's do... Let's not do full 11. I need some of those branches. I don't know how many I got. And then let's do all of those though. And then copper wire. And you use copper wire 
from the copper ingots. Creating things by hand is both satisfying and enjoyable, wouldn't you agree? Crafting a workbench. Feeling uncertain. There's no need to worry. The One item plank. crafting bench has got your back. You can easily produce intricate items like nails, gears, ropes, and intricate? that might be tough to make by hand. <laughs> it cracks me up. Five nail, uh, three nails, and three rope. There we go. Three nails and three rope. I imagine you must be quite worn out from the relentless struggle to survive. Yes, exhausted. You know, to soothe that weary body of yours, how about setting up a sleeping bag? It could provide a wonderful spot to rest and momentarily rejuvenate your weary body. I know. Right here is good. So hungry again. I lost another thing. Now that Society you've level. Sleeping bag, how about taking a little rest? They say rest is the best medicine to regain one's strength. So go ahead and take a break in the sleeping bag. It won't let me rest. Oh, I gotta take the hammer out of my hand. There we go. All right, take a decent break and let's continue with the rest of today's tasks. We can't let those zombies targeting you win, can we? You'll notice I'm not if getting any health back because I didn't have a satiety level. To flee anymore. At that moment, you'll need to move to a safe place to avoid being killed and having all your flesh torn off by the zombies. Setting a respawn point will allow you to move to a safe location, even in such dire circumstances. Now go set your respawn point at the sleeping bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I need to eat a candy bar to, to restore my satiety level. Study are paramount. The research bench is precisely where you now can it'll fill up. new insights. Hurry and construct the research bench. All right, and that's why I put my sleeping bag here because that way my research bench and my uh, two planks and two lumber and a nail. So let's grab a nail and two planks and two lumber. They can share as a, a foundation. And that's why I do it this way. Do you think knowledge will automatically flow into your mind just by having a research bench? I do not. Absolutely not. To conduct research, research materials are essential. It's about utilizing the data contained within those materials. Shall we start gathering some research materials? All right, I've gotten nine out of 10, so I need to go up to the road now. They didn't tell me to make a flag yet. And I like to make a flag. So I'm going to make one and I'll make one later when they tell me to, if I need to. Okay. So let's put it right here. And E to change house pink. Submit. There. That is our house. So looking at the map, I am looking in the right direction. There's a road that goes right down like this. And I'm running up to that road because up there I'm going to find stuff. Look at the zombies. You know what? Before I do that, do I have enough stuff to make uh, a machete? Because that's a better weapon. Your pipe only hits for 25. So... Um, is it here that I make the machete? It's locked. I need... Oh, I need enough... How much do I need for it? To make the machete. Let's see. It is right here. It is a tier two. I don't understand what that means. It doesn't make any sense to me. But I need 50 for that. All right, well, let's go gather some stuff. All right, we have to go through this way. All right, I'll bring you back when we're up near we can gather. I have awoken a bunch of zombies. Oops, and I'm out of stamina. Well, 
Let's uh, shoot our friend. Wow. Your AoE on that was not okay. I kicked you first. <laughs> Move so I can kick you. There. Combo. Again, combo. Again. Gotcha. Well, it seems you're fairly prepared now. With this level of readiness, you stand a fighting chance while searching for the mutant substance. Time is continually ticking away. Open the map to check your location and start moving. I forgot even what I came out here for now. Shall we start with the most important research in order? By researching engineering, you can craft an item called a trap machine. Let oh yeah, I need research paper. And you get these from these boxes. I hear him. Two of you. Boom. <laughs> God, I love that so much. Boom. Kick him. Uh, kick him! Both of them! Kick him! Yes! I'm freaking talented! Alright, T, T for takeoff. Oop. Bonk. 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 Oh <laughs> my god. Sometimes I love this game. Always oh, arms rolling down the road. By attacking the weakness at the exact moment of the <laughs> kick or stab, you can temporarily <laughs> disable the enemy. Especially when attacking an enemy's Funny. weakness with a kick, combos build up. As combos build up, the damage from kicks gets stronger. So make active use of kick combos to overpower the enemy in one go. Now, one thing you need to know about hitting these guys with headshots is that, um, well, at least it used to. I haven't seen if it does it still. When you hit them, if the final hit was a headshot, then they all your arrows, like, explode, oops, exploded everywhere. So let's see if I can do it this time. Dude. Uh, they didn't explode as much, but still, more than I like. I love how much their heads pop off, too. See, I don't like this T for take all business. It is not my thing. Alright, how many research papers do we have? 22, that's it. Oh my gosh, this is going to take forever. That's an eagle. I don't think I can hit that from here. No, nope. I'm hitting the fence instead. Got it, but it's not enough to kill it. Unfortunately. Come here, dude. Bonk. Oh, that AoE is crazy. You should not, that should not have worked. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk. I love that they fall down. That is new and it's funny. Hey! 
You run fast. Whoops, what'd you give me? Oh, police uniform. Uh. Oh, you have to use it at a skin workbench. I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. Forgot about that. If there are small animals on the island, it means there are carnivores that prey on them. Of course, carnivores can be dangerous, but if you hunt the larger ones, you can get bigger rewards. How about taking on the challenge of hunting wolves? They reduce the amount of research you can get, so even though I'm on double resources, it's still taking me forever. I'm only at 27, and I'm on double resources. Like, this is crazy. I do not like this. I'm going to increase my resources because this is just not fun for me. You guys hold right on. All right. I'm on triple resources now. Let's go clear out this house. Stop hitting me! Damn it! Oh, they should not have the impact that they have. It's a pain in the ass. Alright, let's get out our bow and shoot some. Because I asked for 100% zombies on the world, so it's going to be a lot of killing. And I can't do it fast right now because I got shit for weapons, sorry. Kick him! Kick him again! No, don't take the damn arrows! Kick him! Get out of his way. And kick him. Kick him! Kick him! Kick him! Alright. While exploring unknown territories, it's common to get lost. There are times when you can't remember where the important places were. Flags can solve such problems. I do like that I noticed that the arrows stuck up out of the ground, even though the zombie disappeared, because they disappear faster now. And so that is a really good thing. It makes it a little bit easier when you're trying to get your stuff back. Well, they didn't stick up that time, but it still wasn't terribly hard to get my stuff back. That was three research, so we're up to 45. All right, this is better. I don't like how limiting they're doing things. Don't like it at all. And I've got to change that take all button to something else. Didn't I? I could have sworn I did the forwarder on this. 
maybe I didn't, so maybe that's why I don't have. <sighs> oh, I kicked him and I died. Bummer. All right, let's go get our stuff. Oh, we better lay here and rest for a second. So our satiety doesn't re... We don't lose... If you notice the white bar at the bottom, I've lost 20%. And I'd already lost that just over time. It doesn't go down now. It used to be that you'd lose that white bar every time you died. You don't have that anymore. But it also doesn't <laughs> come back easily. So you have to eat the right foods for it to come back. All right, let's go get our bag. We're getting close to having the machete, which is what I want. I mean, I'm on, um, I started at normal settings and then I changed things, modified things. So it would be nice if I had a weapon. But you know what? Sometimes you gotta be your only weapon. Oh. Oh, run. I'm a Taekwondo master. Feel my kicks. <laughs> I need to combo them and I can't when you guys are blocking me. Gosh darn it. <sighs> Annoying. Oh, now I'm naked. <laughs> uh, it's fun. Oh, no, we've got to restore our health. We can't just run back up there with no health. That's dumb. All right. Oh, yeah, and they moved this from 1 to, like, 1.5. Like, they made it one a half, 1.5 times faster, basically. So that's really cool. I don't want to aggro any other zombies. I just wanted to clean out this house. Shh. Very quiet. T e to find. T e to take all. Okay. Hey, how about throwing a little surprise party for those zombies? Throwing weapons? Let's craft some throwing knives or javelins. No. Hey, buddy. You've become quite proficient in gathering research material. It's time to take your physical abilities up a notch. Are you ready to transform even stronger? Where's my pipe? I didn't get everything, I guess. Hey, aren't you swinging that weapon a bit too hard? If your weapon's durability goes down, every swing, every shot won't pack the same punch. So to keep your weapon in top form, it's gonna need some repairs, right? Think of the equipment repair kit as your weapon. There we go. Back. With it, you can make that worn-out weapon feel brand new. Hey, aren't you taking a bit too many hits? Yeah, you know, I am. Smacked by zombies could either infect you or worse, take you out. Grab yourself a shield and step into battle with some extra swagger. Stab you! Stab you! Stab you! Stab you, stab you, stab you. Stop grabbing me. Oh, 
Jesus, could you die? Oh my gosh. Weapons cabinet. Let's see what we get. We got a shield. We got a pipe. We got a spear. Oh, we got a machete. We don't even have to make one. Awesome. Love that. Uh, let's get rid of this um, pipe. Great. Now I'm blocked. No, 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 kick. Kick, move. They can't block you in as well when you can kick them, I guess. That's nice. Kick. 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 My inventory is full. Why is my inventory full? Alright. Um. Because I haven't made a box yet. Where is that pipe? I can't take it off because my inventory is full. Okay. So the machete does is it gonna pop up? Where oh, for God's sake. Must have noticed your satiety depleting. As your satiety decreases, your maximum health and stamina also shrink, putting you at a disadvantage for survival. To restore satiety, you need to die. This house is mine. Alright, so this, where is it? Does 31.5 and the pipe does 25. That's why it's so much better. Let's grab that. Was there anything else in here that I wanted? Uh, equipment repair kit and a gun. Nice, I'll take that. Um, actually, let's get rid of the sulfur. We don't need that right now. You guys fall down so much. It's very cool. I love that new thing. Kick. Oops. Stupid bars. Come on. <laughs> you dive. You dove, I mean. Alright. I don't think I can pick that up. No. Inventory is full. Uh. Hmm. I don't really think I care about this right now. Let's get the one on the bottom. Oh, pipe. I don't care about that. I certainly care more about this police uniform than I do. Why can't I pick that up? Gunpowder. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we have 65. So we have lots and lots. So I'm going to head back down and do our research. We don't even have to make the machete anymore, so that's awesome. And uh, I will refill our health. And uh, I think that's where I'm going to end it here. It's 5 o'clock hour, and um, now I need to get myself situated and back in the mindset of building a base for Horde tonight. So I will see you guys in the next video. If you're excited for this series, let me know. I love seeing the changes. I like like the kissing, the kissing, <laughs> the kicking. I love that. It's really cool. But um, I mean, there are some things I don't like. Like I'm up on triple resources just to get enough research. I don't like that. Uh, maybe you do like it, playing it harder like that. It's just not my thing.
So there'll be some links on the screens if you want to watch me play in a different kind of a playthrough, doing it in a different kind of a way. Um, subscribe if you want to come hang out with me again. I make lots of different kinds of content, including Seven Days to Die content. And um, I started Darkness Falls, which is really fun. I hope that you do something fun for you and I need to go kill her. This is probably part of my day hoard. Sorry, lady, but you are not allowed to do that. Oh, yeah, I needed to do research. Re engineering graduate. Oh, that's I didn't explain that before. I like to put my sleeping bag in front of this because I come up here to do research a lot. And it just reminds me to uh, engineering graduate for the trap machines. We are now ready. You've completed the engineering research. Well done. Now we can construct automated traps that are much more efficient than primitive ones, like wooden spikes. Mm -hmm. To operate these automated traps, significant power is required, right? That power comes from the trap machine. All right. Shall we try crafting the trap machine now? And sure, I will do one. But that'll be for our next video. Hey, do something fun for you. And like my Grammy always says, don't forget where I live now.